I thought I'd make a video of my August and early September Monster Jam pickups, some new ones and some old ones. Here we have the Avenger in a new color scheme for 2014. It says 2014 new look in the little blue bubble down here. The printing on the top says Avenger and it says Garner's Towing. Up next, Black Stallion. Nice colors on this one. Track Ace Tires, green. Looks good with the overall color presentation. The roof tampo says 2005-2006 champion. But I'm not sure what that says. Maybe when I get in on the computer, I'll, I can see it better. But it says some type of uh, national champion, 2005-2006. These monster months might have been out for a while, but I picked up an extra track ace tires of monster mutt and for Rottweiler. Got one of him as well. Rottweiler does not have the tongue. Monster Mutt does. So I got another one with the Track Ace Tires version. With me doing the downhill racing with the trucks. The uh, These Race Ace Tires or Track Ace Tires, they're, they're really fast. I had to do just the Monster Jam trucks with the rubber tires by themselves. It wouldn't have been fair for me to put one with Track Ace Tires in with it. Got a Bounty Hunter with the tires it's a blue it's a blue chrome rims on it there's a peak at the top a little hard for me to get the uh, top with the lighting get a lot of glare this one might have been out for a while lucas oil crusader i'm not sure so just to be sure uh, i picked another one up i like the uh, black wheels and black rims looks like a real vehicle should instead of the shiny chrome rims uh, you know in my opinion but it, it's looks pretty cool with the downhill racing I found out that you know the axles and if they get bit at all that means the car the trucks run hor horribly they wobble bounce all over the place these might be older track ace releases I got this one a while ago but I think I found it again at Kohl's here we have Mohawk Warrior. Oh yeah, as a matter of fact, look, I have my price sticker here. You have the Batman, and then right there on the bottom, found it at Kohl's. So I'll pick up another one. Mohawk Warrior, got himself purple track ace wheels. And this one's from last year. You have uh, Firestorm Team Hot Wheels with track ace wheels. Last year, this is not a current one. Now we'll take a look at some of the older releases I picked up at a collector show. Uh, over there in Whittier, there's a place called Jimmy's, it's like a card collector show, but they also have Hot Wheels die cast and other collectibles. They've been in there, they've been over there for several years and uh, just never made the time to go in there, so finally did. John told me to come on down, so I thought, okay, I'll come on down. Keep forgetting. Rachnophobia. Couldn't pass this one up. Now I paid like about uh, seven to ten dollars each for these older Monster Jam trucks, and the way I look at it, seven to ten dollars not a big deal. What do you guys pay if you go to collector shows? What do you see the older Monster Jam for? I thought seven to ten is no problem. I'll pick I'll pick up ones that I need. Another thing I noticed with Arachnophobia is that I did some searching online to see if it's a real truck, and the real truck was white. It, I did not see a, a fantasy version. I did, not, I did not see a version like this with a spider on it. So was there ever a, an arachnophobia truck with a spider? Or is this a Hot Wheels creation? Now these are from the same year. You can tell the packages are the same. So there's three from this time period. This with The copyright on the package for these is 2009, I believe. Yeah, 2009. Here we have Shattered. Kind of simple for a truck design. What do we got for the, Let me see if I can get that temple. How close can we get in on there? A little more? A little more? Might focus. It's got a skull, but I can't read what it says up there. Hopefully it's uh, nothing bad because we got a kid-friendly channel. And the last one from that year is the Broker. It's a regular truck, 
no crazy design on the truck just uh, they got their own paint scheme but the, the body style itself is just a regular truck these three from 2006 this one came open but uh, I just want to point out real quick that the difference in the packaging this one the plastic ends here there's no bubble right here and then right here the bubble does lift up a bit you got a little bit of um, contour around the Monster Jam logo and then the next year there's going to be or the year before that that contour was uh, about two pencils thick but this one the, uh, the blister came right off of the card by the time I got home so here we have Annihilator nice color regular truck We'll take a look at the back of the car to see some of the other trucks that were out that year. Maybe I can get in closer and then we'll do fewer trucks at a time. There's a, see there's arachnophobia with a white truck. I wonder if I have one loose from those collections that I was buying over the summer. Cadillac Arrest, I have that. Bulldozer. Bustin' Loose, I got those. Batman. Monster Mutt. Been around a while, huh? There's some smaller Monster Jam and larger toys. All right, now let's take a look at those other two. Shockwave and El Matador. It says Fat Guys Rule on the hood of this one, along with some uh, sponsors. Nice color. Well, got a whole bunch of sponsors on the back. And as far as El Matador, got a bull with flames for on the hood, a bull head, and there's El Matador right there. Now let's take a look at the year before 2005, to where this contour was uh, much more pronounced. I think that is so maybe they uh, cut down on that plastic for the next year here we have bad news travels fast there's the name if you'd like to see it there pretty colorful design that's one thing with the monster jam trucks hello get the light out of the way with the monster jam trucks they use uh, pretty good graphics let's see uh, no different ones Hey, robots. i never seen that one. That gives me another one I'm going to have to look for. What's that one? I can't read it. Something evil. Prime evil. Oh, I, might, I don't know if I had it. Cremator, Reptoid, Wise Guys. War Wizard, I had that one. It's kind of like a Willys type uh, vehicle. Clydesdale got that one. Bounty Hunter, he's still around. Bad news, we just looked at that one. Look at that thing. Mega Air Jumper. Any of you guys have that one when you're growing up? That would be 10 years old, because I'm filming that right now in 2009. I'm, I'm filming this in 2014. Hello? And the other vehicle that I had picked up, now like I said, it was from, uh, I got them from $7 to $10 each. Here we have the Equalizer, another one of the Lucas Oil team, I guess. Looks like a tornado on top. Looks like some type of tornado and tires on top of the roof. Hmm, interesting. Equalizer. All right, let's get the real old ones. Here you go, copyright 2002. Just look at the back. And now the front. Oh wait, let's you guys show those two up top. We got Hot Wheels and the perennial favorite Gravedigger. Cyborg. This is one that I've been wanting to get. Pretty pretty crazy. Got those plastic attachments. 
I forgot to look to see if this was an actual vehicle. Did they actually do this uh, for the real events? I forgot to check it out. But Cyborg, that's that's a pretty wild, pretty wild model there. Maximum destruction. Max D been around a long, long time. Seems like he doesn't change his uh, paint styles very often either. Here we have the American Guardian. This one you're going to see uh, dealers wanting more money because they had, I didn't pay no more than $10, but on the back it has a little tribute. It says dedicated to the men and women who severed, there's a misspelled, so they'll sell this as an error. Dedicated to the men and women who served in the U.S. Armed Forces, except they misspelled served and put severed. And on the bottom it says all gave one, all gave some, some gave all. Now, I know I bought this when it came out a long time ago just because I like patriotic stuff. So for USA Patriotic. So I picked it up myself and then, so I don't know where it is right now. But I remember that error from before and I do have it somewhere. Yu-Gi-Oh! Over at that uh, card shop, there were some people still playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Kind of neat to see them still playing a game, having fun. It's a hobby. Enjoy what you like to do. Yu-Gi-Oh! This, one, this one's really cool, especially for Southern California. Got yourself a Surf Monster. Got surfboards up on top. Surf Monster on the board. Hot Wheel. Surf Monster on the other board. It looks like it just clips on, so it looks like you could just take off that roof attachment. I'll find out whenever I open it up for racing. Do the uh, monster truck downhill racing. Glad to, glad to find that one. Flash fire, wild design. Man, flames all over it. A, it seems to me like it's a unique body style too. You know that they reuse certain body styles. Like you'll see this one with different colors. You'll see the trucks with different colors. This one seems to be pretty unique. I wonder how many different paint schemes there are with this body style. And since they gave you a peek to a little Miss Dangerous, we'll look at her. Pretty bright. I'll bet you. I'll bet you when you go to an event, this one, this truck would just stand out. So bright. Let's see how much we can get there. And last, uh, nope, nope, two more for this year. 2002, right? Is that the copyright that I showed? Here you have like a Humvee vehicle, Sergeant Smash. Pretty cool. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Sergeant Slaughter. He was from the WWF way back when I was growing up. It's WWE now. Reminds me of uh, Sergeant Slaughter. And last, uh, last up for the singles, and then I'll show you some of that older stuff back there. You have the Great Bite. Fun stuff. Let's see what it, if I can see the hood. It says, you're going to need a bigger truck. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get some of that real old stuff. I picked up this card. This is Muscle Machines. They're not a Mattel brand. Patriotic again, so this is why I picked this one up. I don't know if I ever bought it back then. This is 2003, I believe. Yeah, 2003. Let you have a look at it. Now, I wouldn't be able to do this in a, a, a race because it, it has a motor. It's one of those, I, I guess it's one of those pullbacks where, you know, you pull it back and then it goes wee. So... This one I'm going to keep in the package. This one, 2002, special collector's book. Seemed like a nice little package offering from Mattel's Hot Wheels. Look, it's got a little collector book. I'm going to crack this one open, make a separate video for it so we can take a look at the pages. And I'll have the links in the description. Avenger in green. I'm pretty sure that was a regular release. And Wild Dang. That's a crazy looking truck right there. This is a copyright 2002. These are the older trucks. As a matter of fact, even the ones that I showed you before, these are older trucks when they were still doing the metal axles. This part right here is metal. Not only that, the 2002s, the wheels were smaller too. So if I get this one where the package opened, see the, the wheels are actually a little bit smaller on the older versions as well. So you can tell that right here. 
These are the older version trucks. Older version trucks, they have a metal axles and the wheel size is smaller. Let me line them up. You can see that the wheel size is smaller. Again, I'll make a separate video for this. This one I'm going to have to wait for a while to make the video for these. Bigfoot. We have a snake bite and Bigfoot. A fella wanted $25 each. And I've already picked these up at Hot Wheels collector shows. And I paid $15 and $12. And if he wants $25, ain't gonna happen. Look, look how terrible condition the package is. Yeah, good luck. So I offered him $30. I said, look, man, $15, that's what they that's what they basically go for. And he didn't want it, so walk away. Needless to say, uh, he decided, well, okay, I'll sell it, sell it two for 30. So I got my $15. Just got a bargain. Got to be, you got to be willing to walk away. I think that uh, speed points is gone. 1991 copyright. This is an old pack. Geez, 91, 01, 23 years old, this package. I'm filming this in September of 2014. And we'll take a last look at Snakebite. It's going to be a while before I get to open these up. But I thought you'd like to take a look at my recent Monster Truck and Monster Jam opening videos. Uh, like I said, I'll give you links to buy... Not to buy, I don't sell. <laughs> I'll give you links for this video here. If you want to check out me unboxing that. And then we'll flip through the collector book. Uh, these other links here are... Also about uh, previous videos that I've done and my Monster Jam playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.